Hi there, it's Tim with Far North Magic. Today we're going to try a set box of Commander Legends Battle for Bobbler's Gate. Uh, it was a box that I got on a discount and hopefully it won't be a complete disaster. This is one of the uh, formats that's kind of the worst uh, just because you only get 18 packs and uh, it is one of the sets that's very hit or miss with like if you get a copper dragon you're doing awesome I guess if you get any of the dragons you're doing like kind of okay but uh, it is kind of a rough uh, go uh, get your insert that uh, Tells you about some of the things that were coming up. And then only 18 set packs. So I think this set would have done better if they had just put a couple more reprints in that actually would hold up in price. But uh, we'll just have to see if we can get a uh, couple decent rares and uh, maybe a good list hit and hopefully we can get there but I'm not counting on it. We got a forest in foil starting us off and let's see I feel that this set's one of the sets that's weird where like some of the commons like some of these gates are worth a little bit of money not a huge amount but they're still worth something and then there's also like um, several uncommons that are quite decent. So this pack has a lot of uncommons. Then we got our foil, uh, etched foil is a Sivis. Sivis. Hey, there was a nice rare hit with a white plume adventurer. I know it's come down a little bit, but uh, with the, I think it got Band. And then Ball, Lord of Murder, Worms Crossing Patrol as the uh, normal foil per pack. And then a Volo's Journal as the token. So, I guess I should have got this box a little earlier get maximum value for the white plume we got uh, this is a bramble sovereign in the art card and just the regular planes these packs are so mixed up I get so confused with set packs sometimes hey there's a Jan Jensen chaos crafter one of the uh, very bulky rares we got cultist of the absolute we got Tavern Brawler as the etched. Hey, there's a Displacer Kitten. That's a decent hit. And a Shameless Charlatan. So, as a foil rare. So, there are a few decent rares, especially if you can get a box with a bunch of the. Uh, lands, they're all decent. We got a Minsk and Boo in the art card. Uh, even this decanter of endless water is a decent common. And uh, yeah, so hopefully, oh. Zevlar as our etch card. That's a rare. Hey, that's a decent one. There's a Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. Can we get a Boo as the token? No, we got a, tr a Treasury Thrall. And that's not really, that's a pretty much a bulk rare, but a Steadfast Unicorn as the foil. The uh, treasury thrall was in gate crash, but it was a card that was one of the uh, pre-release cards, and they only have one per 
guild. So there was like an infinite supply of them. Um, oh, there's the diamond pack. Abadel. It's decent. Uncommon. Okay, we got a uh, Astralon, the Decanent is the first rare. Oh, Hardy Outlander as the etched. Uh, Lilithid Harvester and Contact Other Plane was a treasure. Hey, there was another planes, well, another foil basic, I mean. Uh, the Impetus pack, and then we got the Explore the Underdark. We got Wilson, the Outlander. Hey, there's the most common mythic, just because it's in like every variant with the Volo. Everyone's favorite mythic. We got Far Traveler. We got uh, Baba in the etched. It's another rare etched. We got Dinahar Invoker Adept. And Dungeon Pact as the foil. Oh, there's the I think that's the green worm, adult green dragon. <laughs> okay. okay, oh, we got a bunch of diamonds again. The uh, holy pants. We got the, hey, there's the contraband livestock. That's a, I feel that's a little underrated right now. Uh, Ganache, flaming fist. We got Gut True Soul Zealot as the etched. We got Raised by Giants as the a rare background. And we got Seagate as a foil. As they say, some of the gates are actually decent value from time to time. Um, There are a couple good, the Vile Duplication is a really good uncommon. Uh, you also get like stuff like Nature's Lore in the common slot. You have uh, Deadly Dispute. Hey, Wild Mage Surge, that's a decent uncommon as well. A lot better than some of the rares. Oh, we got, uh, did we just not get her? We got a Dinahar Invoker Adept, Ballroom Brawl, Tasha the Witch Queen as another mythic, Reckless Barbarian as the foil. So I feel we're doing pretty good for mythics so far. Getting three mythics. But, uh, Definitely have a little ways to go. Hopefully we can snag a dragon. That's the hope. We got a ball, Lord of Murder. A lot of these like more common like legendary rares I almost think are like basically uncommon. <laughs> we got Sword Coast Sailor as the etched. Merkel Lord of Bones as another rare and the what is a pseudo dragon familiar and Underdark Rift as another list card. Okay, Elminster in the art. Even this, like, price statues is relatively okay common. I don't know. It's hard to get... It. Like, when you get excited about the commons more than some of the rares, it's pretty bad. 
We've got the candle keep a sage as the etched. Our first of the crowd lanes is a bountiful promenade. We've got glunch besto uh, the bestower. Oh, and a manor gate as another gate foil. Okay, uh, Nira, and then we got a swamp and foil. Okay, the rescuer. We got the Duke and the visitor. Oh, Ball Lord of Murder and the Etched. Goron Wise Mentor and Dragon Cultist as the foil for the pack. So. Oh, there's a uh, ancient gold dragon in the art card. And we got some. Oh, this is another good uncommon, Portrayer's Seal. And then we got a Mazzy True Sword Paladin. And the Agent of Shadows Thieves. We got uh, Kadrilla, uh, Kadrilla, 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 Kadrilla. Collar of the Small in the Etched. We got the Baldur's Gate as the first rare. Hey, and then another Mythic Font of Magic. Definitely not the Mythic we're looking for, but still at least another one. And a Forest. Okay, so we got. Six more after this one. Oh, there's our signed art card. It is, uh, I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, Grace uh, Salt. Uh, okay. Well, that was. Oh, we got Wilson Refined Grizzly as the etched. Hey, there's a Sea of Clouds. That's another nice hit. And Council of the Four in the Showcase Foil. Okay, so. I was dreading the fact that, like, there's... Uh, a chance to get one of like the way the track printing goes where you don't get any of the lands. That's just not really balanced out with anything else. So, oh, we got a Raphael, a fiendish savior, as another etched foil rare. Oh, there's another reason a decent card with a blade of cells. And Guardian Naga as the foil. So. Okay, John Arinicus. We got another swamp foil. And oh, there's that. The Vile Duplication. That's a really nice hit. It's worth a lot more than a lot of the rares. Oh, that's pretty sad. And hey, there's another Minsk and Boo. Now we just need to get the Boo. Okay, and we got the Tavern Brawler in etched. Alondro the Seer. Hey, that's a really nice hit. I know the foils aren't worth crazy money in this as a premium, but 
Wow. That's a super nice pack. Dragon and a boot. Minsk and boo. Okay. There's a lightning bolt and a swift boot, swift foot boots. And we got Coralessa, scale singer in etched. Under Mountain Adventure. I think that's picked up a little bit with the other bannings. And Marching Duodrome in foil. Oh, there's a Minsk and Boo in the art card. And then... Let's see what else we can get. We got John Arinicus, Shattered One. We got Wily Blade of Frontiers in Etched. Mirror of Life's Trapping. Hey, there's a Morphic Pool. Holy cow, that's a pack with a lot of rares. And a Morphic Pool. And cut a deal. In foil. With a Eidolon of Blo uh, Eidolon Blossoms. As a list card. That's at least a card that's a uh, couple dollars. At least last time I looked. Decent in enchantment builds. Hey, there's another uh, science, well, stamped card with uh, Tasha, the Witch Queen. Another Lightning Bolt. Oh, we got another pack with a lot of diamonds. And, okay, Scion of Halister as the Edge. And Noble Heritage as the rare with Guiding Bolt as the foil. Oh, and we got the Rabbit token. That was a really good token for a little while. Okay, last pack. Not expecting anything because we are way over what I was expecting to begin with. Okay. Hey, there's Arcane Signet. Definitely not worth. Definitely a lot less than what it was when it first came out. We got Wily Blade of Frontiers and regular this time. Feywild Visitor in Etched. Hey, what the heck? We got another dragon with an ancient brass dragon. And we got a swamp. Uh, so, I gotta say, that is significantly better than what I was expecting it to be, with, uh, yeah, I didn't expect, we got a handful of decent, uh, of the decent rares, at least, we didn't get the Archivist of Ogma, but, uh, Definitely getting a couple of the lands and then some of the other, uh, like the blade of selves and stuff, is pretty awesome. And then we got a lot. Oh, there's a morphic pool. I knew there was three lands. I messed that up. But okay. And then we got a uh, pretty awesome batch of mythics. Considering I was hoping to just even get one dragon, we got two. And then we got two Minskin Boos, so uh, definitely off the highs for that one, but still pretty solid uh, Mythic, and uh, a lot better than what I was expecting since I've watched some a bunch of other openings and they're just dreadful, so uh, what is your favorite card from Adventures? Uh, Commander Legends to uh, Baldur's Gate. I'd like to know in the comments. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Take care.
and I hope to see you next time. Bye.